Hey guys, and welcome to this uh, review of the MSI GT70 Dominator laptop. Uh, I wish I'd done an unboxing of this when I first got it because it, it was packed really well. And I wish I still had all this stuff to show you with it, but I do have the original box right there. And uh, that box came uh, in a similar size box just like that. And then that box was also inside another big box from the uh, new egg where I bought it from. So it's uh, it was really well packed. The screen, uh, everything was protected. There was like a cloth cover over the entire laptop. So really well packed. Uh, as my first MSI laptop, uh, I was formerly had an ASUS laptop. Uh, it was not a gaming laptop though. So this is the first gaming laptop I've had in a while. Uh, I had a Sager notebook a long time ago, which is uh, basically an Alienware because uh, they they used to use Sager's uh, stuff before. Nothing I remember paid like two thousand dollars for, <laughs> but this thing I got for twelve hundred bucks. Uh, this is uh, there's so many variants of this MSI laptop. This particular one is uh, eight gigabyte. Um, it was it said that it had a, a i7. Uh, 4800 MQ processor but it also actually has a 4810 MQ processor so it's just a little bit faster than what it was advertised to be nice little uh, nice little touch there uh, this has the GTX 870 M processor or CPU or GPU rather and uh, surprisingly it's not as uh, fast as I thought it would be uh, I'm I'm still running an old GTX 670 in my desktop, and that still is quite a bit faster than this uh, running a benchmark. So, um, go ahead and fire it up here and show you a few things about the laptop. Turn on. This did not initially have a uh, solid state drive in it, but I do have one in there right now, so you can see how fast it boots up. This is a Samsung 850 uh, solid state drive, 850 Pro. MSI logo and bam it's on just like that that's from total shutdown that's not sleep mode or hybrid mode that was totally off I mean that, I guess that's that's Windows hybrid shutdown mode but still you know it was was not a sleep or a um, or a hibernate mode so here's the initial desktop nice MSI logo um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the screen back well, if it comes up here, the screen is way bright on the on the highest setting. I had it turned down here, but I'm gonna turn it up just for video purposes. Uh, there are some buttons along the side here. This these are like little t like uh, touchpad type buttons. There's no actual physical button, but you just touch that area on the on the laptop. Uh, like this one, you hit that. It puts the fans at full speed. It slowly ramps the fan speed up. So I use that for when I'm benchmarking or whatever. So you can hear the fans starting to speed up now. Cut that back off. Next one is a uh, change that goes through. You have like a bunch of different presets for your uh, keyboard, different colors. So it goes through all the different presets. This one's changing colors gradually. You have like a wave pattern in the keyboard, uh, so it kind of waves across the, the, the keyboard. I don't think you can set each individual key uh, color on this. It has three different zones for the keyboard, uh, left, middle, and right. So uh, you can't individually you know, do each, each key, but it's still, at least you can do part of the keyboard. It's split up into three different groups. Uh, what's this, airplane mode? Yeah. And this one, I think it's for changing the screen to a different monitor. And that one, I'm not sure what one that one uh, brings up this MSI Dragon Gaming Center, which is a, some something to give you gives you you see GPU, CPU temperature, the load, the power scheme. Set on balanced right now. I'm gonna put it back on game mode. I did notice I, I I was using these this eco mode they call it, and I had it on presentation because it it made the screen quite a bit darker like that. 
does come with Windows 8.1, but I, I'm using a classic shell on it right now, so when I do this, it's like Windows 7. And you can do this and get the start screen back, but I, I never use this screen anymore. Let me bring up CPU Z here. Try that again. I don't know if that, it, that little error was that popped up. Probably because I was overclocking the CPU last time. There we go. I think it's still overclocked uh, by a little bit. Yeah, because this post a boost at uh, 3.6, I believe. It's a 2.8 by default. And uh, you can increase the multiplier up to 41, which gives you up to 4.2 gigahertz. And it was actually running fine. I ran a, a benchmark with it using 3D Mark. And then sitting idle, it decided to crash, which I thought was pretty, pretty silly. So, uh, yeah, this thing has 8 gigs of RAM only, which is still plenty for gaming, though, I think. I mean, it's run every game I've played with it. It does have the integrated uh, Intel HD Graphics 4600. So some games, you have to make sure you select the right, um, you know, video video card there. Otherwise, it may try to use the Intel graphics. I've only had one game that tried to do that, and that was Dead Island Epidemic. So I actually had to specify which graphics uh, device to use on that. Uh, let's see, we got... It didn't come with a whole lot of bloatware, which is good. I mean, there was a couple of... MSI programs on here. I actually downloaded Afterburner to overclock the, CP, uh, the GPU. Uh, there is a battery calibration. I haven't done that. Boot configure and the gaming center and then supercharger. I'm not sure what that even does. Uh, it comes with uh, XSplit. You can get a free subscription for uh, six months, I believe, using XSplit Gamecaster. So that's a nice touch. Yeah, there's a bunch of icons on the bottom here. Uh, some some of these I put on, but uh, just, just like I said, there's not a whole lot of bloatware. It did come with this. Uh, uh, it gives you a version of Norton uh, online backup and uh, antivirus for like 60 days. And there's this really annoying thing that kept popping up um, called the MSI Remind Manager. It's reminding you to register constantly, so I had to actually uninstall that to get rid of it to keep it from popping up all the time. Go ahead and go to uh, this mode here. You can see the processor, 8 gig, 64 bit. Uh, let me show you some profiles for um, the feature mark. Benchmarks. I believe my score was about 4,600 on this. I'm, I'm not going to go try and find out where it's at, but my score was about 4,600 using Fire Strike, the regular one, uh, which is not too bad. Uh, my score on my desktop was about 6,800, though. Uh, it's like I said, using a GTX 670. So it's still quite a bit slower than that, but it's better than my last laptop, like I said. Um, and you definitely definitely need to have an, a solid state, I think. But this thing, I tried it when I first got it, and it was really slow. It's just, a, it's just got a one terabyte drive in it. Um, you can get a free program. Uh, there's a couple out there, different ones. I'm not going to name any names, but there's some you can get to transfer all your uh, partitions over. It's had about four partitions on it. Some of them were, were hidden. One was a system partition. One was like a, I don't know, it's like a restore. And but you have to use some kind of a program to move all the partitions over. And it, it wasn't too bad. And once I got it all, all installed there, I just copied all the partitions over basically, and then wiped the one terabyte. And I'm using that now as my games and storage drive uh, for all my Steam games. So. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a good laptop, definitely worth it. This is not the latest and greatest. They have a, I think they have a 900 series laptop now. But I got this one because it was pretty affordable. It was on sale on Black Friday. Uh, it's it's kind of a, a, a mid-range laptop. And uh, I like it. So, well, there you go, guys. If I think of anything else, I'll put something in the comments.